Is this turning into an all-out cyber war against North Korea? CBS News senior national security analyst Juan Zarate has some thoughts on that. He joins us from our Washington Bureau. Juan, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Let's, let's talk uh, first about this idea of responding proportionately, which the president said. W what might he be talking about here? Well, there is no playbook for how to respond to an attack like this from a nation state attacking a, a private company, uh, destroying its data, infiltrating and taking its intellectual property and obviously intimidating it. Uh, but I think what the president's talking about is looking at a range of options. You just heard Julia talk about some of them. Increased economic sanctions, targeting leadership assets, uh, maybe some cyber retaliation, maybe some creative things, uh, information warfare, to actually use the dimensions of the attack against the North Koreans. But there really is no playbook, and that's why the president is still waiting for options, and he still has to make a choice. I don't think anyone's surprised that we find ourselves in this sort of he said, she said, with North Korea still denying they had any role in it, the FBI saying, no, it was definitely them. But why is North Korea continuing to deny that they had any role in all of this? Well, the question of attribution, trying to uh, place the blame of a cyber attack on the perpetrator, is one of the uh, most difficult things in a cyber attack. And certainly the perpetrators, you've seen this in the case of China, certainly Russia, even Iran and Syria, uh, they claim to deny it. It's hard to, to uh, prove in public. And you heard in the FBI's uh, explanation as to how they determined North Korea's culpability, uh, a, a desire not to reveal too much as to what we know and how we know it. And so North Korea knows that, and they know we're going to have difficulty talking publicly about the proof behind why uh, they were behind the attack. Juan, um, when we look at this, I mean, you look at a company like Sony and you think, how can their system get infiltrated like this? I mean, should, should we, be, should we sh be shocked by this? Well, Anthony, you've seen this year has been a year of uh, major cyber infiltrations. Uh, you mentioned at the start of the show the Staples uh, hack. You, you saw also this year Target and Home Depot, major banks like J.P. Morgan, which have uh, important security systems in place, uh, have been hacked as well. And so this is a cyber arms race, and the reality is that private companies are right in the middle of this and have to ensure that they're securing their systems. But the reality is you have state actors, sophisticated ones like the North Koreans, going after data and trying to dest destroy uh, some of these companies. To, and that is a, a difficult thing to defend against. So interesting to think that a movie stemmed a plot that almost seems like a movie in and of itself. Juan Zarate, thank you so much. Thanks, Vanita.